So I think it was like my Windows Vista machine. I know, I know, I just said Windows Vista, but hang in there for a second. So I got this Windows Vista machine and I opened the file explorer and there were what appeared to be folders. They were called like documents, music, videos, but they weren't folders. I saw that they were separate and distinct from the My Documents folder and the My Music folder. I, I was completely confused. In fact, I just avoided them altogether. Well, of course, what those objects were are called libraries. In this micro nugget, I'm going to teach you about these libraries. They're actually pretty cool and pretty useful. So here we are in our Windows Explorer. And by the way, for the record, this is Windows 7 Home Premium. And this is indeed the machine that I make nuggets with every single day here at CBT Nuggets. So kind of exciting to actually be using my CBT Nuggets machine. Rare and exciting to be using this machine. So here you can see, these are the libraries. These are what confused me so much. I mean, here you have this music, but then if we go down under our profile, we have a My Music folder. Okay, so let's be absolutely clear on what's going on here. Underneath our profile is a folder called My Music. That is truly a Windows folder. Over here is a virtual object, if you will. It's called a library. And what its purpose is, is for you to bring all your folders that contain music into it for a simple view of all of your folders that contain that content. You know, this is probably going to make a lot more sense to you if I go ahead and create a new one. Watch this. I'm going to click on this library's node and I'm going to go up and say new library. I'll go ahead and name this CBT Ingredients. What do I mean by this? I mean resources that I use on a daily basis for the creation of CBT Nuggets. Now, if I drill in here, it's empty and Microsoft helps me out. They say, okay, to get, make this useful, go ahead and include a folder. Well, here's a folder right here that's going to be perfect. In my Dropbox, I have a folder called graphics. These are the graphics that I use in my courses. So I'm going to go ahead and include that in the CBT Nuggets ingredients library. How cool. Now there's something else I need all the time with CBT Nugget creation. So what I'm going to do is navigate to that physical folder and make sure I add it to that library. It's in my documents folder. There it is. And it's called completed AVIs. Yeah, these are my completed nuggets. I'm going to go up to the include in library and pop that into CBT ingredients into that library. How cool. One more in here is my Camrex. These are the actual video files that help make a nugget. I'm going to include those in the CBT nuggets ingredients. So now what do we have? We have this container, if you will this virtual folder, whatever you want to call it. It's, it's leading me to all of these great resources that I use to create CBT Nuggets. What a very convenient feature, this library feature. And I'm a bit embarrassed to admit that I had avoided this feature because I didn't understand it for several generations of Windows. So in this micro nugget, we took a quick little look at a cool little feature inside all of your modern versions of Windows. It's the library feature, and I hope you've already come up with some great uses for it in your work environment. This was a slice out of the training here at CBT Nuggets for my Windows 7 courses, as well as my Windows 8.1 courses. I hope you'll consider checking those out. I sure hope this micro nugget was informative for you. And I'd like to thank you for viewing.